Hi, welcome back. I've just built Pochilo. That's how it's gonna name. How we gonna going to name it? It's coming from this website. It's from Ubuntu Budgie, but again, after that, it's also coming from Pop GTK and from Materia, and it's uh, built. So if we figured it out, because this guy is all tweaked and themed for Debian, right? For Ubuntu. Sudo apt install is not a command from Arch Linux. Omanjaro or Antergos, anything Arch will say, what is this? So we needed to figure out what the packages are called on our system. They're never ever the same. So I figured it out and I ended the video by saying we should actually write everything down for next time, next installation. Why again figure it out then? We know now what to do. The only thing I need to do is arrow up, arrow up, arrow up, and see what I've all tried and all typed, and then add it to a script. So where do we start with scripting? Super shift and then return. We go to, not pictures, Eric, we go to the data. Arclinks Nemesis, all right? There is um, on github.com slash Eric Dubois, there is a Arclinux Nemesis. It's just a bunch of scripts that I use after installation of Arclinux. I'll run this to make it even better. Dropbox, Spotify, InSync, stuff that I need that I, that I won't put, I can't put on uh, the ISO will be installed afterwards. But there's also the AOR, stuff that I know that I like, and some of them are on the on the ISO and some of them are not. But we can reuse code from here because that's, that's, that's faster, just easy to do it. Well, choose just one of them, I don't know, just this one, Control C, Control V. And now I'm gonna call it the correct name. I'll have to peek what it's called. Let's call it that for now. Let's see, Pochelo GTK theme. That's gonna be my name. So I'm missing GTK. TK theme, enter. So, double click. No typos allowed. And it wants to install a line here of, um, well, an application coming from AOR. But as it so happens, we do need an application from AOR. We figured out that if you want Pochelo, well, you, you can, and we're not gonna do it, but you can actually um, install it. You don't have to follow all these tutorials to have it. It's just yay Pochelo. And you have one, enter, done, it's installed. But let's assume, let's assume that I really like to have my own um, way and we're gonna call it differently we're gonna call it build because basically that's what we're gonna do we're gonna build it ourselves okay so oh, a and a dash so this thing and let's get rid of that is going to be a reflection of what's on here. So this guy, we started with all these things. These are the things we need to do. Hmm, I'm, I'm seeing this here, make and make all. Here it says make and here it says make all. We just did make. Okay, we'll see. So basically, Control C. Let's put it in here. Control V. So that's super. But we're gonna make it better later on. Because this is going to download the GitHub in this directory. We rather have it in the TMP file, for instance. But uh, let's first save it and then take a look at all the things we missed. So these are the lines. 
that we need to install. Control C. But those packages are actually coming from uh, Debian. Then there are some commands you can add at Pacman. Um, ignore what was it again? Let's take a look. Control T. Man Pacman. You can add stuff in here after the installation. Transaction, query, remove, sync options, database options. I'm over it. I'm going back. Sync options, query options. I know sync. Sync is actually an uh, update. <laughs> so that's query. Upgrade. Where are you, my friends? Here, sync options. So clean groups, info, list, quiet, search, this is a great download only. I want a unneeded, uh, no, that's removing. You always here ignore, that's it, no? Yeah. Needed, do not reinstall the targets that are already up to date. So needed, I need that one. And no confirm is here somewhere as well. Here is confirm, there is no confirm. So needed and no confirm, remember. That's what we need. Needed and no confirm. Okay, that's how we figured it out. This, see, this means if it's already installed, skip it. And this means if you want to ask me to install for a yes, then it's already yes. Okay. This is Ubuntu. Opti PNG, we had that as well. But let's make it line per line. Maybe that's educational wise most interesting. So we're gonna install stuff, right? One after the other. Opti PNG, the name was exactly the same. We've taken care of Opti PNG. Inkscape, it was already installed, but it's gonna be skipped if it is installed, but it needs to be there. Without it, can't work. Not sure about the names again. So moving back up to the make install, make GTK engine Muri. that's true. So, GTK engine, maybe it's not necessary, but we've installed it anyway, but it's useful, it's a useful thing. Okay, what else? GTK engines, not sure if we need that actually. Let's put it in, in here anyway. GTK engines, let's see if that's with a dash, it is. Correct. libxml2 is something we installed. libxml2, oops, 2 is something we installed. And then libglib, I think we had it already. I don't know. It's going to be skipped anyway. Lib, lib, g, lib. Why does he want to add 2? Uh huh. Okay, this one is not the right one. So we need to sas sas sc is the next one. So you're out. Sas c save. So the engines are out. Git is always installed. And we're out. This one was installed when we installed sas sa sc without a zero that's okay that's okay make is always installed this one we didn't find and lix lip xml is uh, we could have a look at that lip xml library xml 2 
is installed. Hmm. So there's nothing on Arch called the way it's called here. There's no 2.0 dev bin or anything like it. It's just lib XML. Utils here. That's it. I'm looking at that one. So yeah. A lot of files. Don't see the word utils or anything anywhere, but they may be in there. And we really don't know what part of the packages it needs. And we do see some elements here. These are elements coming from the theme, these colors here. You see? Okay, we have seen a window in Pamac AWAR. So this guy is actually that guy and that guy we don't have it. So basically this is our script to build it. Eh? Installation that we download it uh, ourselves, download ourselves, but we need to put it somewhere, git clone it to a specific place, a specific place. We can add something here behind actually, but why, why bother? I mean, CD temp, move yourself to a particular place, then make a directory and call it this and then go inside that theme, that uh, folder, Wah, call it build or something. So we have different names probably, the other ones are going to be called po Pochillo, GTK theme. So. so this is the build folder, go inside the build folder, is going to download it, it's going to be called this thing, go inside that thing, that make it pack and that sudo pack make it install. Sounds good. We don't need all that. This is code that we don't need. Poof, you're out. Because we are, are not using um, AUR at all. We have actually built it piece by piece. And I've done that in the past. If you want to know more information about it, there are more builds on EdgeBordle.be, but then it was on Linux Mint. So on the GitHub of Eric Dubois, you'll see more build scripts, of course, uh, related to Linux Mint stuff. So Debian stuff, Ubuntu stuff. But that's how you figure it out. And that's the point of the video. Learning how to, well, basically in this case, move from an Ubuntu kind of script to something that's useful for us, an arch. Okay, um, save. The only thing I can do is run, but the thing is it is already installed, of course. So, we have the data, Linux analysis. Here it is. Right mouse click, open, install. Okay. Let's see what happens. So, everything is up to date. Skipping, 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 skipping. And then cloning. So, where is he cloning? He's going to TMP. He's going to this one, but you look at GDK team going inside here. It's going to git clone it. He has a folder, it's going to go in here. And then it's going to run some stuff. And line by line, he's going to create it and we'll get a, like this one, we get something out of it. You can open these elements. Okay, you see that if you saw earlier on in the other video, maybe if you're following uh, videos, then you saw that it is, is really uh, intensive. So it's not, it's not crashing and never is when you are building themes or, or icons or something alike, because it's going to go over thousands of icons and make them for you. So the best thing to do maybe is um, GTOP or something similar or HTOP or, or something. So you see that basically it's working very hard. 
he's using the script render assets which we saw in the other video he's, he's going inside Inkscape he's running starting Inkscape doing the stuff I mean he's just working very hard so just let him do his stuff and there you are it's done it's installed he says it says done at the very end so everything is now installed don't see any errors here and um, this is a good script so that's good another new script and more knowledge online so it is getting to be more and more an arch linux slash article linux university alu article linux university okay um i wanted to show you one thing that's it just going to the result uh, the result is in user share and then themes and you see with the p let's type p well from there to there we have now these bukilo themes and we can choose them and we can see them in this one for instance we see here this border look which we don't have on an x monad but here we do have something we can show you something this is how it would look all right um that's uh it for now enjoy